Good morning. It's Latrice, and today I'm going to be making homemade potato salad. It's one of my daughter's favorites, and mine as well. So today I'm going to show you how we make it in our family. And so I hope you enjoy it and try it as well. You'll love it. Okay, let's get started. I've already started peeling some potatoes. What I did was um, I had plastic potatoes. I boiled them with the skin on them until they were tender. As you can see how it goes in there, it's tender. And when they finish boiling, I let them cool off. And I get me a small little paring knife, which I'm using here. And I'm just gonna peel them. You'll see, just peel. See how it just comes off? Just peel it. Got my little pan over here. But just peel. It comes right off. I'm just using my bowl, my pot that I boiled them in. And you can use uh, the golden potatoes which are, you can just leave the skin on those as golden potatoes but these are rusted potatoes um so you might want to uh, peel the skin off of these so i'm just going to continue to peel these skins off i have about three pounds three and a quarter pounds of potatoes here three and a quarter pounds of potatoes okay I'm going to continue to peel and in the meantime see how that's peeling off peel I get the brown off as well but just continue to peel I'm going to continue to peel this and then since I have uh, three more small ones how quick it was. I'm going to go ahead and um, continue to peel these three more and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I peeled all my potatoes, as you can see. Then I'm going to cut up some onion. I'm going to use about um, this little quarter and a half of onion along with a little piece of this half. It's just like a half. I'm gonna cut that up. I'll just go ahead and cut. These eggs. I made three bo um, four boiled eggs. Four boiled eggs. I have four of these large boiled eggs. I have some sweet relish. My favorite mayo, Dukes, and some Dijon mustard. I might use a little regular mustard as well, but that's all I'll put in here. But I'm going to go ahead and continue the onion. I'm going to use about a little bit more than half. And then you don't have to, you don't have to really, um, because I just cook these kind of small. I like so small. I should have uh, grated it like I started to do. That's all the onion I'm going to use right here. That's all the onion I'm going to use right here, as you can see. Okay, but 
first, I want to cut these up. I'm going to um, coarse chop my potatoes right quick. Rest in peace, we miss her dear, I miss her so much, but this is how she used to cut them. My mom was the best cook ever. But cut these up in chunks. It's kind of crumbly right now, but. Just keep cutting these up in chunks. Chunky. When you stir it, they'll also break up as well. So you don't have to be too precise with this, but just cut them up like that. When you start mixing it, they're gonna mix, they're gonna break up some more anyway. So let's continue to do that. All right. Okay, there we go. I think that's chunky enough. Next, I'm going to add my onions, all my onions, eggs, I should have had these cracked, so let me crack these and I'll come, I'll be right back, okay, I'm back. I peeled the uh, eggs. Uh, first of all, let me tell you, when I boil my eggs, I put cold water in a pot, cold water. Then I uh, submerge my eggs in that water, cold water. Put it on the heat, on um, put it on pretty high, until a uh, medium high, until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling, remove the whole pot from the pan I mean, from the stove, and uh, set it aside. And while what that's doing is cooking, still cooking the eggs, and you won't overcook them, and they peel very easily that way. So what I did was use this my little cute uh, chick, and I kind of cut the uh, egg. I just shredded with my knife with the rest of it. I just do it in little squares like that. And you can see my yolk is perfectly cooked. And just, just cut it up roughly. Okay, my next one. I get it. Put it in my little chickpea. My little chick. Open it up. Put my egg in. And... And I go straight down and 
let's go ahead and and you can see the yoga band is perfect if you don't cut it up real good that's okay it'll get cut in the uh, pan I'm being careful uh, not to cut my hand I've been doing this so long which is because there's no wrong way to do an egg so I'm just gonna continue to do these Again, the yolk. If there's some big pieces in there, they'll come out in my last egg here. I'm gonna do it the long way this time, it was easier. Okay, put that down. Look at the yolk. <laughs> I love it. I can't eat eggs uh, anymore like I used to because I'm, I'm allergic to the uh, the white. Okay, that's done. Put this in the sink. I won't need any more. I'm gonna get my mixing spoon. I'm gonna make my wood spoon. This is my wood spoon I'm gonna use. But as you can see. The eggs are just shredded up really good. Potatoes there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings and um, mix it up. Another thing, I boiled, I boiled my eggs. I mean, I'm sorry. When I boiled my potatoes, I put salt in my water. So what I'm going to do is add some sea salt. This is my sea salt. But, you know, just enough to two hands full, or maybe three. Yeah, this onion powder. I'm gonna use black pepper, onion powder. I mean, go. I'm sorry, garlic powder <laughs> and onion powder. I just do this to taste. I don't really have to look at it, but this is my garlic powder. Garlic powder. Pepper. I love pepper. Quite a bit of that. A bit more. Put these up. Right here. I also use a little Creole seasoning. Because for the, the ending. Okay. I'm gonna mix that. Yeah, start mixing my wet ingredients. This is my juice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of it. Here it is. Thank you. 
try this. I love this mayo. Mayo must. It's so good. So I'm going to put some of that in there. I'm going to put my Dijon. Sweet relish, the last ingredient. I'm just gonna use a spoon here. Not two big scoops of uh, sweet relish. Just a little bit more. So uh, that. Cup and a half of meal. That should do it. So I'll be right back. Okay. This is my finished product. It looks good. It tastes good. 